Hello and what's going on again guys? In this tutorial I'll show you how to link up contact form 7 to your own MailChimp to create uh, a brand new newsletter subscription or something similar. So for this to work you're going to need a few things. So this is uh, your WordPress dashboard. So firstly we're going to need to install contact form 7. So I'll show you how to do that. Go to Google and type in contact form 7 and look for the wordpress.org link so it's this one here the second one click on that and it'll take you to the plugin page so first of all download this and i'll leave a link to all these in the description so don't worry about that right first of all then go back to your website go to plugins go to add new upload plugin and drag the file you just downloaded to the choose file and then click install now and that'll take a few seconds and then simply click activate plugin so if you haven't used contact form 7 before it's a well, as the name says it's a contact form plugin uh, it's very good in my opinion so here it is it's already activated and if you go to contact click on that and you have a, a default contact form here so click on this one and click edit rename this to oh sorry rename this to newsletter and then get rid of some of these fields because with a newsletter subscription generally you only need the uh, name and the email so let's get rid of these and take note of the field names here is uh, your name and your email self-explanatory okay so click on save and this will give you a short code here which we will need later on so the next process now is to download the MailChimp extension for contact form 7 so once again go to Google and put in contact form 7 MailChimp and this time is the top result from the wordpress.org repository so click on this and once again download okay so it's downloaded go back to our website and go to plugins once again add new upload plugin and drag that new downloaded file or folder to the choose file option again and click install now once again click activate plugin and now that is installed so let's get rid of this so here you have the options you have to put in for MailChimp to work with this form so let's go to MailChimp sign up and then we can fill in this part of the form. So go to MailChimp.com, create an account if you don't have one, run through all the settings, your business name, your name, your address, etc. And then when you finally done, you've confirmed your email account, you will see a screen that looks like this. So let's go back to our own website, click on contact, and click on the newsletter form that we had how we just created so click here so there's you have various tabs at the top the one we're concerned with at the moment is called MailChimp so you have the MailChimp API key the list ID the subscriber email and the name so the API key is like a secret key which only you should have access to uh, the list ID is the list that you want the user to sign up to. So in this case, it'd be the newsletter list. And then the other two are self-explanatory. So go back to your MailChimp. Let me close this down, sorry. And the first thing we want to do is get an API key. So hover over your name. Go to account. And I believe it's under extras. Click on extras and scroll to API keys. 
scroll down you should see something that looks like an egg that's breaking and it says you don't have any active API keys so create a key don't click create a manual API key just click create a key so your API key has been created so copy everything inside this box control C head back to your website and paste this in the top here next we need to get the list ID so go to the top where it says lists click on this and when you create a MailChimp account the, you're automatically generated a, a new list in this case mine is called WP master so click on this and go to settings I believe it's on list name and default scroll to the very bottom no it isn't you okay go back to lists sorry about that go to the little drop down area here and I believe it's on settings right yeah scroll down to the very bottom and this is your unique ID for this list copy this paste into list ID and you're ready to fill in the next two steps so how this works is when someone submits the contact form um, from uh, contact form 7 the one we created has two fields so it's your name and your email but you have to make sure they're spelt exactly as the actual fields are so the best way to do this is to copy each one including the square brackets so your email goes in the subscriber email and your name goes in the subscriber name scroll down to the bottom click save so we've created a contact form and linked it up to MailChimp now we need to put this contact form into a website template so you can either go copy this and go to pages and find the page which you want to integrate this with so for, for example with me it'd be the contact page and you can simply put it in here and then click go to update but because I've developed this template slightly different for me I have to go in the code of the website and put in some PHP code so if you're doing it this way you just have to do PHP echo do underscore short code Save this, upload to your server. If you're not a developer, you know, that's quite simple code to put into your website. And then go to view page. So now you can scroll down and your newsletter subscription box is here. So you can say, Ricky and my email, um, rdwpdev at gmail.com send this through and the automatic uh, default message for contact form 7 is this but we could change this to say uh, thank you for your subscription to do that go back to the contact form click on the one we made and messages and instead of uh, thank you for your message we could say thank you for your subscription and click save and now if we go back to lists my email address is already in there so it hasn't added this time because I think uh, when you sign up um, with MailChimp this is the account I used to sign up my email address was already in there but if we do another email address it'll show up so that's it guys pretty straightforward if you have any comments or any queries you, you're a little bit stuck with anything please put them in the comments below I'll link to everything that I've mentioned all the sites the plugins in the description 
and if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more WordPress videos thanks very much guys